Hi everyone and welcome back. My name is Joe Erotic and I am the UK Tiger King. Now, a couple of years ago, a man came all the way from America to look round my zoo. He bought a couple of my cubs and then went back to America and opened his own zoo. Now, he's not bigger than me, you know. No, he calls himself the Tiger King. And I know that Netflix has made a documentary all about him, but that don't mean nothing because it's only Netflix, isn't it? It's not like proper telly, like you know, RTV or BBC or nothing. So, uh, and to be honest, you know, any dickhead can film themselves and put it on the internet. It's not hard, is it? You know. So anyway, as I said, I am the original UK Tiger King and I'm going to take you around my zoo. So come on, let's go and see if we can find some tigers. <laughs> So you've come to the part of the zoo where I keep all my tigers. That's right, I've got about 60 or 70 tigers and they're here right now. I mean, you won't see them as such because at the moment they're sleeping, you know, so uh, we can't really disturb them, you know. Everyone needs their tiger nap. But they're all around us right now. In fact, I think there's some just up there. So we're in lion enclosure at moment and uh, I think at last count I had about 40 or 50 lions and uh, you won't see them uh, because they're taking catnap at moment and um, but of course anything could disturb them you know they could come running out of trees any moment now which is why I've got gun you know just to, to be safe so here's a little fact for you that all the lions in my zoo are gay that's right they're gay lions because they're a pride <laughs> That's just a little joke, erotic joke there for you. The lions aren't really gay. I mean, what would be point, you know? I mean, they wouldn't breed, would they, you know? So it'd just be a massive drain on finances for the zoo. So if I found out I did have any gay lions, you know, I'd, I'd have to put them down, to be honest, you know? So uh, anyway, let's carry on and see if we can go find some more animals. Come on. So we're down by the water's edge at the moment and it's quite a dangerous place to be, to be honest, because this is where I keep my alligators. That's right, I've got about 40 or 50 alligators here at the zoo. And uh, I mean, you won't see them as such because um, they're very good at camouflaging themselves. You know, they stay just below the waterline, you know, because they're, you know, the natural predators. So um, in fact, if you look down there, you might just see you might just see the nostrils of one sticking up. He's just down there right now. So I think it's time that we moved on, you know, because they haven't eaten. So um, let's go and see if we can find some more animals in zoo. I've got quite a, a few different types of monkey here in the zoo. I've got orangutans, I've got baboons, I've got spider monkeys, got a couple of silverbacks as well. So as you can see, trees are quite tall here and um, monkeys up there at the moment probably sleeping, you know, in a little nest or something like that, you know, right at top of a tree, just, just, just out of focus, I'm afraid. What, what shame. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming round my zoo. And who knows, maybe you come here in person and have a guided tour by me, Joe Erotic. Come see animals, you know, up close and personal, of course, providing that they're awake. So anyway, it's me, Joe Erotic, signing off. UK Tiger King. I hope to see you again next time, cats and kittens. Meow for now.